with, uh, of course, our go-to guy on, on, on medical situations, of course, Dr. James Pitney II. He's a board-certified family medicine physician. Dr. James studied uh, general surgery at the prestigious Cedars-Sinai Medical Center out in L.A. after graduating from Baylor College of Medicine right here in Houston. He is the founder and CEO of Diamond Physicians. It is a, a customized medical practice focused on the patient-physician relationship. Diamond bypasses the cumbersome, inefficient middlemen like the traitorous insurance companies and goes right to you, the patient. Dr. James, thanks for making time for us today on the Voice of Texas here on AM700 KSUV. Hey, good morning, Chris. So the report I wanted to talk with you about, uh, CBS, they, they do try. I mean, they really do. Uh, this is CBS Miami outlining a survey of primary care doctors and the resulting shortage courtesy of Obamacare of doctors. Now, they're saying the reason why there's such a shortage is because the system is being inundated with all these newly insured people. You and I both know that, that that's kind of half the story, if not only a quarter of the story, as is primarily the reason why these folks can't find care is because of the reimbursement rates courtesy of, of Obamacare. No doctor in his right mind will work for free or actually work to pay to see patients, right? That's right, Chris. Uh, it's a very unfortunate situation for primary care doctors. We are just not getting the reimbursements that we used to. We are receiving... 30% cuts across the board. The Affordable Care Act has only perpetuated that problem. Uh, we're losing money, and we can't keep our doors open. Okay, and so and that, that's why, so you understand what CBS was trying to do. They were actually trying to carry a little bit of the administration's water by saying, oh, there's such a, that these, these offices are being inundated with so many people that are newly insured. Uh, and it goes back to what you've been telling us all along, is that just because you have insurance doesn't mean you necessarily get care. And that's the most critical point. The Affordable Care Act does not guarantee access to health care, and that's what we need in our country, health care. And that's what I'm trying to do with Diamond Physicians is actually provide truly affordable health care to every U.S. citizen in this country. Now, I used, I, bar, I, was, I was talking with Obamacare with some, another guest, I think it was on the national show, and I, and I borrowed your analogy for, from, for auto insurance as to, as to how we use auto insurance compared to how we, how we use medical insurance. Uh, for the KSCV listeners, will you please outline that? Because it, by far it is the best explanation that I have heard that, that really drives it home as to how we should be using insurance in the United States of America. That's right. The reason why health care costs are so high is because we use health insurance for every little daily mundane thing. We use health insurance for flu shots, for our direct primary care visits. Uh, we should use health insurance like car insurance. When you fill up your car with gas, you use your credit card. You don't file a claim with the insurance company. When you need new windshield wipers and oil change, you pay cash. And that's exactly what we should do with medical insurance. When you go see your primary doctor, you should pay a small fee. When you want your flu shot, you should pay 20 bucks. When you need a cholesterol check, you pay $6 at Diamond Physicians. You don't make an insurance claim. It rises the cost exponentially. Yeah, I'm reminded of, uh, well, uh, Dr. James Pickney II is my guest right now of Diamond Physicians. And I, I, Mr. Obama made this statement trying to sell Obamacare, which we all know was a pack of lies. Everything that came out of his mouth were, was a lie about Obamacare. But one of the things that stood out, that he said is that no American, let me be clear, no American should ever go broke because they got sick. And being from the insurance industry, I actually was in, in life insurance at one point in my career. And I remember you, you, buy, you buy a catastrophic loss policy for something like that. It's relatively inexpensive, especially compared to uh, the trillions of dollars we're spending on Obamacare. And that's, that's what you use insurance for, is for those devastating, the, the cancer diagnoses, the, um, the, uh, the, the, the car accidents you weren't expecting. That's what you use that catastrophic loss policy. Otherwise, you, you pay out of pocket to somebody like Diamond Physician, a, 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 a company that doesn't need to go through that third party and actually raise costs. That's exactly right. The cost of insurance has gone up 300% and will continue to rise. So whatever you're paying for your insurance right now, you will never pay a lower rate. That makes no sense. It will continue to rise. We spend uh, our health care costs are rising at twice the rate of inflation. So we have to make a change or this company is going to go bankrupt. Medicare and Medicaid spending is through the roof. These entitlement 
programs, that's not the answer. We cannot expand Medicaid anymore. Uh, we have to figure out an alternative, and that alternative is direct medicine. Diamond Physicians has perfected that model, allowing instant access to your physician. So clients pay a monthly membership fee, $45 a month for kids, uh, adults, a cup of the cost of a cup of latte a day. I'm talking about four or five bucks a day, and you get unlimited visits, no copay, 24-7 access, uh, cell phone, email, call me, Skype, FaceTime, whatever you like. All your acute medications and all your acute procedures are included, Chris. So if you cut yourself at 10 o'clock on a Sunday night, I come up to the office and sew you up. It's included for that low monthly fee. Yeah. Uh, one last thing about the tr what I call the traitorous insurance companies. They have come out on record saying that they will oppose any Republican effort, any conservative effort to change Obamacare. And the reason why they're going to oppose it is because they're making money hand over fist, the tune of billions of dollars, into the pockets of these, again, what I call the traitorous insurance companies. Do, what does that tell you about the insurance company's motivation? Are they in it for themselves or are they in it for the benefit of the, of the American people? No, they're only in it for themselves, Chris. The government is going to pay them two trillion dollars over the next decade. That's $200 billion a year in subsidies for a terrible product, a product that does not deliver access to health care, uh, a product that's expensive uh, and limited number of doctors in network. It is ridiculous, and the American people should be outraged. Which is exactly what happens when you introduce government into anything. You get a product that's stinkier, and it is way too expensive and doesn't work. Uh, Dr. James Pickney II, he is with Diamond Physicians, actually the founder of Diamond Physicians. Appreciate the time and expertise as always, sir. Oh, thanks for having me on the show. You betcha. Merry Christmas, guys.